Bam, what's goody? Baywood here. Today, I want to show you the fastest and easiest way to mix vocals in Logic Pro using stock plugins. I get this question all the time because a lot of people are like, hey, I don't know mixing and it's overwhelming for me and I completely get it. So I just wanted to show you a speed run professional mix and show you the easiest way to do it. Let's get it. All right, so I'm gonna show you the unmixed song. Didn't change anything about it. Okay, so the first thing I always do is lower the beat because the beat is always mastered by a producer to make it loud and make you enjoy it. So we're gonna just turn it down. We're going to turn it down to a level uh, where the vocals sit on top. We're just gonna mute the ad libs now. Okay, so we lowered it a bit. Now what the second step is to put a BPM meter directly on the beat. So go to plugins, metering, BPM, meter. Okay, I get it. Uh, to break my heart, boy, 115. Okay. So what this is going to do is this going to put everything on beat. That way when we add effects, the effects are in time and they're going to sound way better. The next thing I do is go to this main vocal and we're going to go to user patches in Vocal Sauce 3 uh, because this is literally the fastest way to do it to just get a start of a mix just to catch a vibe, okay? On this main vocal, we'll just hit the first preset. This is using all stock plugins in your DAW. Okay, I get it. That sounds amazing. And there's 49 other presets in this. The reason we created this is because starting from scratch all the time wastes a lot of time. More of our time should be spent on finishing songs and marketing them. That's the point. Uh, so when we can save time with things like engineering, it's always useful. Now, you should, when you're going through presets, you should go through these, turn them on and off, and reverse engineer. Oh, that's making that sound. If I turn this off, okay, I see what the sound is making. So I don't suggest just using them just to use them and never learn mixing. I think you should learn mixing. I love mixing from scratch, and I love starting with presets. Love them both equally. But I can start from scratch, and you want to have um, that tool in your tool belt. So if you're looking to learn from scratch. I have plenty of videos that I'll link in the description that you should check out. Um, but this sounds like a great starting point already. Um, and so the next step I like doing is going to the beat and figuring out the key of the beat. We can figure this out by on the beat, put a tuner on. Okay. And then go to your main vocal, open up pitch correction. And what we're going to do is most beats are in minor. So always know that this, the scale is going to be natural minor. And then what we're going to do is put the response and tolerance all the way up just so we can hear um, if it's right or wrong. So if I just keep it in C minor, let's see if it's most likely going to be wrong, but let's hear it. Okay, I get it. So that sounds actually pretty good. Um, but what I like to do is the notes that I keep seeing here, I like to change the root note to the main notes that I see. Okay, I get it. So the first note I saw is G. See? So that's because on the first bass note, it's usually the scale of a beat. So you can always figure it out right there. So let's try G minor. Okay, I get it. Okay, let's go back to C minor. Okay, I get it. See, I see C a lot too. Okay, I get it. And I see G sharp, which G sharp's right there. But if I go to G minor, G sharp's not there. So I know that C is actually more closer. So then what you do um, is just make sure that all the notes you see right here are in the blue. So G. Okay, I get it. Nice. 
nice. I see F. All right, great. I see the notes. It sounds great. Now I'm going to reduce this response. I'm going to hit neural pitch detection just so it captures the range. Okay, I get it. Turn break my heart, boy. Ain't no magic. Only if I let it. Wanna check my pulse and my heart beat steady. Yeah, you know I'm ready. Anything that go nice. Okay, so I just slowed it down a little bit to sound a bit more natural. Um, just start slowing these down until it sounds good. You don't have to overthink that process. So now what I notice is on Vocal Sauce 3, we have all of our effects on separate tracks. That way we can EQ them and they can be their own and you can control how much you're giving it with these knobs right here. So, okay, I get it. so this first one is the delay. So let's... Okay, I get it. So I noticed that there's a bit too much highs in that delay. So I go to the EQ under that delay. I'm just gonna take some highs out. Okay, I get it. Turn break my heart, boy, ain't no magic. Only if I lay it. Wanna check my pulse till my heart beats steady. Okay, and then I'm gonna open up the delay. And I'm going to make it a little bit faster. So I'm gonna do one fourth. Let's try that. Okay, I get it. Turn break my heart, boy, ain't no magic. Now that bounces with the beat, so it's hitting those pockets. So a little change there. And then I'm going to go hit the reverb. And you see the reverb's right here. But it's also, when you click bus 2, it's right there. So what this does by like putting the effects on separate tracks, like reverb, delays, distortions, and stuff like that, is it creates its own track. That way you can control it more. Um, and it's not directly on your clean vocal chain where we added you know, compression and EQ and stuff like that. So we're just gonna turn this, the reverb up to a point we like. Love that delay on here, or reverb on here. So I noticed there's a little bit too much highs, so I'm just gonna cut the highs a bit. By the way, this artist is NMK. I will link his music down below. He's so dope. Um, he's a Nigerian artist. So then what you can really do is break down, you know, all these plugins and be like, okay, if I turn all these off. Okay, I get it. Wow, so good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to really level up this track um, with mastering. So just click on a random track to open up your output. And with Vocal Sauce 3 comes five preset, five mastering presets as well. So you can go to setting and with it, you know, it comes in an easy install guide to show you how to do that. Um, but you're going to go to Vocal Sauce 3 vocal chains and we're going to go through each one. Let's hear what they sound like. Okay, I get it. And like, you know, notice I'm noticing like a little bit uh, too much reverb maybe. So I'm just going to turn this down a little. Okay, I get it. Trying to break my heart, boy, ain't no magic. Only if I let it. Wanna check my pulse till my heart beats steady. That sounds really good. So now the next thing, which is super powerful in Logic, to just round off this mastering chain is click their mastering button right here. And it's going to analyze the track and do a final master on top of your master. And just to make sure um, that it really sounds professional, let's hear what it sounds like. Okay, I get it. Trying to break my heart, boy, ain't no magic. Only if I let it. Wanna check my pulse, my heart beats steady. Yeah, you know I'm ready. Anything that comes, I know I felt this. Mantis, killing the person who sent it. You wanna break my heart, you see. 
So then, this sounds really good. So now I'm noticing the main vocals a little too loud, so I can just bring this volume down just a little bit down. Okay, I get it. Trying to break my heart, boy, ain't no magic. Only if I let it. Wanna check my post and my heart beat steady. Yeah, you know I'm ready. Anything that comes, I know I felt it. Mantis, killing the best who sent it. You wanna break my heart, you see. I'm gonna cause. And then you can take like a last EQ or add an EQ on the preset and just do some final, uh, find some maybe harsh frequencies. Okay, I get it. Trying to break my heart, boy, ain't no magic. Only if I let it. Wanna check my post and my heart beat steady. Yeah, you know I'm ready. Anything that goes, I know I felt it. Mantis, killing the person who sent it. You wanna break my heart, you see. I'm gonna cross the seven seas. Only and only if you see that you are the one for me. I guess you take nice guys. I guess you ain't my time. So spend your lonely nights. And that's all there is to it. Um, so I believe that is the fastest. And that is where, you know, a lot of mixing is going. It's going towards just automation because it's a lot of experimentation and randomization. So when you click on a random preset, it could sound good or bad. Um, but if you just click around, you could find one that you never expected to do a mix like that. Like I probably would have never just added these plugins in that row doing those things. And it just sounds good. And it was the first preset. So just be open to that idea. And if you are interested in getting Vocal Sauce 3, down, you can get the it using the link down below. And I'm going to uh, put a special discount code for 50% off this pack. And I don't do this much, but only um, on this video. So definitely check it out. I guarantee you're going to love it. Um, and it's an amazing thing. It's available for FL Studio, Pro Tools, Ableton, and all that. So Definitely check it out below. And if you have any questions, comment them down below. And if you have any specific tutorials that you'd like me to make, comment them down below. And make sure if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this. And if you want to learn how to mix completely from scratch in Logic Pro, you got to check out this video right here.